So Ethan Mooney uh, getting ready to kick things off here for North Texas as they try to rebound from that 29-27 loss last week to Louisiana Tech. And the opening kickoff is going to be taken about uh, five yards deep, and uh, it'll be taken a knee by Terry Junio. 59% the first year, 65%, 14 touchdowns and four picks his sophomore season. Last year he uh, went the distance, and this one's complete. It's Warren Reddix. Reddix is over the midfield stripe, and Reddix is down at the 35-yard line before he's finally wrestled down. Real star-studded defense. Third and six, North Texas, number one stopping third down conversions. This one gets down to the 20-yard line. It's Wadley again on third down. From the gun, it's Metz. Flush from the pocket. And Metz is going to have to throw this away to bring up a, a kicking situation on their opening possession. A good pressure that time from the defensive front by the main green. Reffitt ended up seeing something that he really liked in that young man and asked to steal from Latrell if he could borrow him for a little bit. Here's Jason Philly. He's four for five, this time from 38. And the Miners, they took their first lead of the season last week against UTSA. They take the first lead of the ball game here against North Texas. Third down on the season, a 41% for the Miners. Fine, looks near side, has his man Rico Bussy up at the 45, and that's going to move the chains. And it's going to be first down North Texas. Is Michael Lewis the strong safety in coverage for the Miners? The ball goes up to the 45, first down, fine. Plus from the pocket, plenty of time, finds his man. And at the inside the 45-yard line, that's big number 87, Calvin Smith, Mr. Versatile. There's a third and ten. Fine flush from the pocket. Trying to buy some time, and he throws it away. The Mets takes over from the 20-yard line. Mets fires, and this one's complete to Reddick's again. He's their leading receiver. That's his second catch already tonight. So it's kind of a homecoming for him as well here tonight. Mets again wants to go upstairs. This one's incomplete. No penalty flag. Here comes the late flag. Reddix was the intended receiver. Brooks in coverage, and that's going to be pass interference. Metz is going to keep it himself inside the 40-yard line. Moves the pile down to about the 42. Although last week he didn't hit on 67 or 60 percent. This one's picked off. That's going to be the 11th INT. And Tariq Davis on the move, man. Six foot nine Conference USA player. Third down play. Here comes the rush again. The pass is over the middle. It's complete. As a matter of fact, last week it was Thursday before they decided who was going to start against UTSA up front. A lot of white jerseys around that ball carrier that time. A loss of one, maybe two on the play. That'll bring up a third and 11. Rayvon Hughes, the ball carrier, the last two carries, averaged about 7.6 yards a carry last week against UTSA. Metz has nowhere to go. Flush from the pocket. He's going to go deep, far side, and had his man open. And that was a Terry Junio. It's going to be third and one. So far, they're one for three converting. This is Nick Smith. Smith gets tied up. Uh, looked like he got right to the marker. It should move. It's over 10 yards of carry in that loss to Louisiana Tech. Maybe they should give him more. Play action. Bussy. Bussy at the 30. Bussy dropped down inside the 25 yard line. Second and six from the 17. And nowhere to go that time. Third down. Fine. Has his man, and it's Darden. Darden tiptoes his into the end zone, but he's there's a touchdown. I was going to say, I thought he was out of bounds, but Darden has the touchdown. Remember last year, he had two. But you can't blame someone for trying. Metz fires Reddix all the way up to the 34 yard line. Second and 10. Metz finds his man at the 38 yard line. He's still on his feet. And he tries to hurdle and he's tripped up. This time facing a third and 12. Heavy rush. Metz has some running room. Ryan Metz. Going to pick up the first down and then some all the way down to the 30 yard line of the mean green. Some wheels on him. But again, not expected to play. Mets. Near side. This one's complete inside the 20 yard line. It's going to go for six. 
That's a great move right there by Wadley. I don't know if you noticed that. I like that coach talk too, but deep down in his heart, he's saying, I can't wait to play these guys and go ahead and take it to him. He's just being polite. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, deep down, he didn't want any part of North Texas. But from the 39. Fine, swings it out, near side. Back to the line of scrimmage, and they're coming up to make the stop is Kaline Beverly. Mason Fine change up the play a little bit, then bailing out his linebackers and allowing his defensive backs to come downfield and make plays before they become first downs. Junior back to the 11-yard line, inside the 10 now, gets to the edge. He's up to the 20. Junior 25, and runs out of bounds just shy of the 30-yard line. Metz gets rid of it just in time. It's incomplete. It's a miscommunication. Just 18 remaining to climb to the top of the ladder of the all-time list. Here's Torrey. DeAndre Torrey. There's that explosiveness that Seth Luttrell was looking for. I think it's Guyton, Darden, and Lawrence in the bottom of your screen. Third and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Evan Johnson gets to the 30. Had to get to the 29 for the first down. Mr. Versatility, Kelvin Smith had it and he dropped it. Miners 50%, three of six on third down. Metz is going to keep it. Nowhere to go. Hygia in to make the stop. So it's third down and 10. Near side looking and what a catch. Beautiful catch that time. It's going to be uh, Kajo Young. Penalty flag down, and Kajo Young, the senior from Scottsdale Community College, that's his third catch. Here's a big third down play, but it's third and 20. Remember last week we saw Mason Fine complete to convert two third down and longs. One was 13, one was 15. Edlin's long is 51. Now as long as 52, there is a penalty flag. A guy jumped for the minors, but was he drawn offside? We'll wait for the call. Looks like they're going with encroachment. Offside. Defense, number nine. The penalty is declined. The field goal is good. Wow, Demo. Winston Demo, the big fullback, and the coach's son gets... All the way down to the 40-yard line of the season. Keenan Foster, the junior out of Washington. Now here's Wadley. Wadley finds a hole, spins down to the 25-yard line. Well, 35, 36 points a game. Right now, they're tied up at 10-10. Mets, far side, fires. This one's going to be picked up. Second pick, fourth for Brooks, 12th this year for North Texas. I know he saw the one-on-one -on -one matchup up top, and he wanted to take advantage of it. This one's complete to Guyton. I believe that's Guyton's first catch to the yeah. first half. We haven't spoken his name all night long. After that 14-yard gain, they're going to keep it on the ground. DeAndre Torrey is going to add to his stats as he breaks to the outside. He's inside minor territory, but he's going to run out of time. North Texas, four for nine on third down situations. Yeah, they're loading it up right now. Nice job by Torrey weaving his way through traffic. Really wasn't a physical run, but he moves the change for another first down. Nice play. Right Something out of nothing. So that was his second. It's actually his third. He had two in the first half. Nick Smith. Nice run by Nick Smith. Another new set of downs. He gets up over the 45. Maybe he'll crack 100 today. He was averaging almost six yards a carry in the first half. He's at 73 right now. This is Torrey on the reception. Russell just shy of the 45-yard line. They missed it in the first half. And they missed it again. It's penalty flag. Kalon Beverly over the back. Jalen Guyton was the intended receiver. Beverly said, I didn't touch him. Well, it, it, it looked like a run block on the outside. I'm not going to lie to you. I was watching that thing from the beginning. The 41. Nice. All alone, Rico Bussey, and he's pushed out of bounds at the last second at the uh, one-yard line. 
I guess he did. They, they moved the ball back. So good call by the officials. And good pursuit that time by the Miners. It was all over the place. One of my favorite safeties. If I didn't have Ed Reed on my football team, I would have definitely picked him from USC, that's for sure. How about Denzel uh, Chukukeu? Little slant bussy at the 10. A nice defensive play. Number 13, that's Justin Rogers. This one from 29. And the lead. And he has it. Latrell, if you're not going to use him, send him over here. Yeah. We'll find him. Don't be greedy. <laughs> Wadley over the midfield stripe. Finally brought down at the 47. So Wadley averaged uh, 5.9 yards of carry in that first half. Ends up making them change the play that line. Our side complete. Junior lunges for the first down. Bringing the house. Mets. Good coverage by Brooks, but that was low. Hedlund has a 52 yarder for North Texas. Partially blocked. And it rolls out of the back of the end zone. Well, you look at some of these numbers. Uh, Pretty even. Even Steven here. Nice job, misdirection. This one. Jalen Darden. Boy, Mason Fine did a nice job of uh, carrying out that fake with that second back. And Darden has a huge gain. Well, Mason Fine now 17 of 27 for 232 and a touchdown. He's averaging about 335 through the air. This is Torrey. DeAndre Torrey stopped just shy of the 10 yard line, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, Bussy cuts it back in. Bussy walks in for the touchdown. So Graham Harrell digging deep into the playbook uh, on this series end game here tonight. But now this is going to tell a lot about this team here in the final quarter. As they trail by 10. Mets is going to go down. Third and very long for the Miners. Heavy rush. Mets is going to have to uncork a bomb. Reddix is there and hand to hand contact. Reddix came down with the football. Even if this goes incomplete, he did a great job of pulling it in. It's going to be a completed ball. So Mets opens up the fourth. That fake run again dumps it over to the fullback inside the 40 yard line. It's Dimmel. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Oh my great penetration uh, by the mean green. Eric Davis the first to get in there Hughes Trayvon Hughes the ball carrier. Third and a long 14 Mets takes off. He's going to pick up the first down and then some inside the 20 yard line finally chased out. By Mohammed. <laughs> Wadley with the direct snap Wadley gets hit bounces off the would be tackle. Keeps it going, takes Kyrie Muhammad inside the five yard line. Nice piece of running by Wadley that time. Here we go, third and goal at the one. Mets. There you go, big fellas. So Mets at 210 pounds, just push the pile into the end zone. The extra point will make this a three point ball game. Five foot 11, 185 pound kid. Nobody thought he could do anything in the college football world and boy has he proved them wrong this is Guyton near side or Bussy rather Rico Bussy on the receiving end even self admittingly Seth, Seth was talking about how he couldn't probably do it again this was an anomaly Torrey swarmed under by a wave of orange again number nine Hodgkins leading the, the attack And this will be a first down. It's going to be Darden and then some. But the yards after the catch gets it all the way down to the 40 yard line. Another big third down play for Mason Fine. This is third and six. Just rushing the four. Plenty of time has his man. This is Lawrence. Lawrence down to the 20 yard line. Finally chased down by Jamar Smith, the Mike linebacker. North Texas at 90% in the red zone this year. Nick Smith. 
turns the corner, finds the edge, gets the pylon, and he's in for the touchdown. That two quarterback system's a possibility. This one's complete, and it's going to be trouble, and it's going to go for six. Wow, Foster gets his first touchdown of the season, and it is a big one. It goes 62 yards. Back-to-back -back weeks on BN Sports. North Texas in a dogfight. Shy of the first down, had to get to the 28-yard line. So Metz is the first 300-yard game. Little pump fake, going deep, and looking for Foster. Little incidental contact uh, with number 24, Taylor Robinson, but no penalty flag. Oh, yeah, back in the huddle there was. Well, back in the backfield. Line of scrimmage, it might have been rough in the passer situation there. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Max protection. Mets did not need to leave the pocket on that one, Mike. And he almost stumbled. Buying some time, buying some time. Ran out of time. Ijaya. Finally puts him down on the carpet. So North Texas now with a couple of sacks and five tackles for loss in the ball game. Here's a big fourth down play. Mets fires and has his man, and he dropped the football. So now Mason fine to go to five and one. All he has to do is run out the clock now with a minute 34 to go. Five star athletes, but they really played their hearts out tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll take heart over talent any day. Texas will go to five and one. They're home next week against Southern Miss, so that'll be Mason Fine against Jack Abram on the marquee of that ball game. Nick Smith gets down inside the 15-yard line with uh, a minute 15 to go. They played their hearts out. 27 to 24. The final four seconds uh, ticking off. Mason Fine climbs to number two on the all-time passing list at North Texas, but most importantly, Mean Green notches that one in the left column. Another win. They're five and one.